I don't know why Madagascar. My mom pointed out that it's exactly on the opposite side of the world from California and her, but that's not it. It's fairer to say that it's somewhere near the heart of what I don't know about. And maybe the best way for me to learn the most, as fast as possible, is to go there. And something else has lately come to my attention, my jawline, which once was cut, but now slopes to my neck. I would be a fool to think that if I'm degenerating visibly, I'm not degenerating invisibly, going fat in ways that I don't know. And so I quit my job, had my car junked, gave up my rented room, broke up with the best girlfriend I've ever had, and I'm going to Madagascar. Not directly, it's, it's quite expensive to fly directly. I'll go to Johannesburg first and sort of wander over. The nice thing about not really knowing why I'm going is that it's not urgent to get there right away. It's pretty cramped. <laughs> Almost there. I didn't sign up for a, a middle seat, actually. I don't know how I got the middle seat. Yeah, it kind of sucks. It's kind of small. I'm taller. Six two. Je m'appelle Matt, je suis très intéressée de faire la connaissance de votre pays, de Madagascar. Je cherche un logis modeste. I'd help me. And it's a little bit not completely good French, so that uh, they feel you're a foreigner. What are you saying? I'm skipping some little interjections. I don't want you to skip any interjections. It's good as well. Are you saying that you're, that you're speaking colloquially? Or are you saying No, very you're, simple. But you're not speaking as if I'm an imbecile, are you? No, 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 not at all. <laughs> but very simple. All right. I'm glad I got my letter of introduction translated into Kosa, but I'm nevertheless feeling increasingly anxious as we near South Africa. Cousin Baruta said some things that got me a little worried. Did you have something uh, against malaria? I do have something against malaria. Against? I hate it. I have a, a chip on my shoulder against malaria. And I wonder now if in my preparations I've been a little blithe. Also, the in-flight movies haven't helped. I'm sure it was a coincidence, but both were set in Africa, and in both, the white male protagonist died. If one were a fool and took one's knowledge of the continent almost totally from Western media, one might be somewhat on edge as his plane landed. I asked the cab driver to stop at an ATM so I could get some RAND, whereupon I found that my card didn't work. 
The bank apparently had noted the coke I bought in Paris and the soft pretzel in Berlin and recognized immediately that this was a crime spree in progress. Fortunately, the hostel is allowing me to run a tab, but until I get my card fixed, I can't really do anything or go to Madagascar. It occurs to me that I neglected to cancel my phone service back home. That's money well spent. Amy, it's not that I'm dissatisfied with my life as much as I have extraordinary expectations for it. It's as if I were at a Chinese buffet and said, I'm going to sample a number of dishes only because I'm dissatisfied with the sweet and sour chicken. No, I'll sample several dishes because it's a buffet. Because it's a buffet. And I'd be a fool to do otherwise, wouldn't I, Matt? Matt, the Chinese buffet analogy doesn't work because at a real buffet, you'd continue to eat sweet and sour chicken. I'm all for you eating, trying other food. I just don't like that you're no longer eating sweet and sour chicken. Also, at a buffet, the chicken doesn't have feelings. Amy. girlfriend yeah and basically this is your decision right yeah and your girlfriend is disappointed by this yeah she's uh, she's disappointed but happy for me she's quite um, she's quite good in that way she's very she, she sees that this is a good opportunity for me that it's a good thing for me to, she genuinely kind of is excited for me to, to be doing this amazing trip. Obviously she would have preferred me to stay and be with her, but it wasn't that the relationship wasn't working. Um, it was, to put it coldly, I guess, an unfortunate complication that I was in a relationship and the relationship wasn't strong enough for me to be able to say, you know, I really want to be back with you when I get back in a year. We have to kind of yeah. If I had said that, she would have, she probably would have agreed to that, but I didn't think that was fair on her. Yeah. Because um, I could have said that, come back and gone, well, actually. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, I've, I, I've said that as well, that, uh, well, you know, this isn't fair to you. Mm. But, I mean, when you say that, that you really mean this isn't fair to me. Hey. Uh... No, you're kidding. Come on. I 
I gotta get out of here. I've gotta get out of here. I've always been curious about Lesotho, which is the only country contained entirely within another country. So, if I have money enough to get there, maybe I can wait for my bank to turn my card back on there. So, uh, um, maybe I'm looking for a place. I'm, I'm looking for a place to stay, okay. for which I will gladly pay. Okay, I say hello. My name is Mike. I have an interest in the Soto, so I'm looking for a place where I can stay, pay. Thank you very much. Yes. When I was going to come, I, I kept hearing that Johannesburg is the murder capital of the world. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think they exaggerate. But look, there's so much razor wire and... And, and, and that's when we went from a party system to a democracy. Yeah. Our crime rate just went boom. Really? Um, even now, there's roadblocks almost every day. Yeah, uh, I saw know? a roadblock. Hey, am, I, am I on camera? What's the occasion? Because we changed the constitution, we removed capital punishment, you know, things like that. So, um, it actually invited crime. So, but those were all good things. Those are all good things, but um, I think our government, the ANC, you know, they were too quick to, to change things. They should have done it gradually and slowly. Huh. So, boom, all of a sudden we've got freedom, you know. It was too much, too soon. Well, you had freedom, but no one had any, no one had any work. No one had resources. There was still this big economic disparity. Yeah. You know, freedom without resources to live is no good to anybody. No? Um, <laughs> I'm always trying to tell people that when we were under apartheid, you know, our crime rate was low, unemployment rate was low. A lot of uh, black people are saying that, okay, now we're in a democracy, but we don't have what we used to have. It's a statue of the man that discovered gold in Johannesburg, George Harris. He died a very poor man. He did. Uh, because he sold his mining rights for 12 pounds in a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> ah. The cheapest way to travel in Africa is by a minibus. They don't leave at specific times, but wait until enough passengers wanting to go to the same place have gathered. So they're almost always packed. Dear Matt, your body weight, including footwear, was 74 kilograms, to be multiplied by 2.2046 so that it is expressed in pounds 163 pounds. Your rucksack weighted 15 kilograms, i.e. 33 pounds, not including your ukulele. Johannesburg is the place of the world with the highest criminality. I just found it in my newspaper. Please take care. Au revoir, Kojamo. Cousin Bruda. no street lights when I went for food, and I found myself surrounded by figures in shadow. I don't think it would have unsettled me so much if I hadn't been pre-frightened by movies. Anthropological note. I think every culture has a largely tasteless side dish whose main function is to fill the stomach. In Lesotho, it's called pap. Are you 
married yourself, man. No, I'm not. not yet. That's all. Yes. Choose the right one. <laughs> That's good advice. Yeah, choose the right one. <laughs> Did you choose correctly? You don't interested. Uh, I think. I think so. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. You? What is it? Did you choose correctly? Yeah. Well, I need more time to decide. Is that so? I need to uh, see a lot more of the world before I make my decision. Is that mm -hmm. so? Yes. So now I've. I've How old are you now? Thirty-six, thirty-five. Thirty-two. Get the right. <clears throat> Uh, otherwise, you're going to be frustrated for the rest of your life. Uh -huh. But you should have uh, have some experience before you settle down. Do you agree? What Girlfriend, girlfriends. Yes. You know, you know. Yes. We have the experience. You get it as you go. Mm. No, no. Once you have a wife, your experience is over. No, what experience <laughs> are you talking about? You've got to have girlfriends. <laughs> you know, it, it's amazing because what experience you are gaining? Uh, just a bachelor, and it's an experience of a bachelor mm. not having your married life you understand yes, yes. it takes two if, to tango if yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> then, then you have a wife hmm? then you are going to get an experience of marriage life right? <laughs> that's a different kind of yeah, experience that's exactly. mm. i've got to get out of here picking randomly from the map i've decided to go someplace called tabaseka i don't know why I like the hyphen, I think. You are going to Tabatek. Yeah. You look at those uh, Hanua, that's so. It's a snake drive. Yeah. You miss one corner that you got. You miss one corner there. You got a corner. Why? Why we can't go? Why we can't go to? Yeah, tell me what is wrong. Yeah, you know the driver is driving without the license. He, there's no fitness. There's nothing. Does he have registration? Yeah, oh yes. Hey. <laughs> but he, he must be with his license. He doesn't have a license. He can, cannot assure you. We are not sure if the gentleman is with it. And so what will happen to him? Arrest. You're arresting the driver. Yeah. <laughs> and he's staying here. Yes, yes. Maybe we can decide to take him to court. You'll take him where? To court. To, to court? Yes. And what will happen to the van? As well as the this. You'll take the van as well? Yeah. And what will happen to me? <laughs> As a passenger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know. So I will not go to Tabasek. <laughs> Possibly. 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 All right. Well. So we can continue. No driver's license. It's too late. Last Friday. What? So is it take a week? It, ex it expired? No. Ah, it's too late. Student. It's too late. Stolen. <laughs> sure it was. <laughs> Periodically, the van stopped in what seemed like the middle of nowhere. 
No village, not even a hut in sight, and whole families disembarked. A woman on the van told me that the former queen died in Monsignana, where we were headed. And I said, I'm not going to Monsignana, I'm, I'm going to Tapaseca. At which point the van dropped us off in Monsignana. The Catholic hospital has rented me a sort of duplex hut. And I'm not sure how or when I'll get to Tapaseca, which is really frustrating. Although, I don't know why exactly, in as much as I didn't know why I was going there. I don't know what I'm doing. Also repair shoes. Oh yes? You all repair shoes. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> Are these uh you take parts from these shoes? Yes? Um so when people bring their shoe does anyone speak English? Having run into something of a language barrier, I decided to look for the people in the village who I knew would speak English well. People are buried sitting up. Last times, <coughs> last times, yes. they were burying them sitting up. Yes. But now we bury them laying down. Why? I, I don't know why. Is that because uh, the Catholics bury them laying down? Mm. But traditionally, Sasutu buries sitting up. Yes. Yes. Why did they bury them sitting up? <laughs> it was last time. There were no uh, caskets. They, they caskets? Were not, yes, they were not there. So they just they just wrap him or her with the skin the skin of the cow. Uh -huh. They bury him in the same 
Uh-huh. I read that it was that they were buried sitting up mm. so that they could very quickly、uh, rise when they were called. <laughs> Maybe. You are correct. Okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Sheep. Yes. No, these are not called the sheep, but、oh. they are the goats. What are they called? Yeah, they are the goats. Goats? Yes. Goats are, uh. Okay. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, sheep do that too, don't they? Uh, let's have a beer. Yes? And what are your names again? Nta Bise. Ah, Nta Bise. Nta Bise. Yes. Nta Bise took me to her family's compound, consisting of a traditional Basutu house that she shared with her grandmother. And a newer rectangular building where her three brothers lived. Is this your crawl? Yes, that is it. Yes, and your cattle? Yes, I look after them. Where are they now? No, no, this, this. Yes. That is it. Yes, that's a cat. <laughs> domestic cat. Domest, domestic. domestic cat. Oh, a domestic cat. Yes. I asked him, Koma, where the other brothers were, and he said they were at a cattle post in the hills. Then I asked where their parents were. And he said that both had died of AIDS. And they're grazing. And then you will go get them and bring them to the crawl. A guard at the hospital had mentioned that the incidence of HIV among the patients was in the neighborhood of 80 percent, but I'd assumed that I'd misunderstood him. So now I thought maybe I should go back to the hospital. I mean, we hear about HIV in Africa, but it's pretty abstract. I think everyone has a picture of what Africa is like, but it's another thing to see how it really is. So I spoke to the administrator, and I asked her if I could interview somebody, a, a nurse or a doctor, and she said I would need written permission from the Christian Health Association in Maseru that administered the mission hospitals. Is that totally necessary? I said because I actually just arrived on a crowded van with an unlicensed driver on the road where King Mshwishwe died. So, do you think it would be possible to forego the written permission rather than have me go all the way back to Maseru? I spent the entire day at the Christian Health Association. Waiting for the director to return from a dentist appointment. Anthropological note: Many people who were otherwise willing to speak at length regarding their suspicions about the death of Mshweshwe II immediately go quiet when the camera is on. What do you think happened? Ah, <laughs> 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 Why is everyone so reluctant to say what happened to Mishweshwe the second? No. What they really think? I know nothing about that. Are they afraid of Let's See the Third? Maybe. <laughs> do you think Let's See the Third had something to do with the death of Mishweshwe the second? No, I don't think so. Okay. Look at that! Hey, bad guy! Come to me! Please, man. Please, please. Uh, no, we can't talk about this.、Uh, <laughs> did Mashwesh? No, please, man. Please. Are you <laughs> Sorry, it's a hotel, man.、Uh, it's a hotel. I'm taking you here to the hotel. This is a hotel. Yeah, well, yeah, this is a hotel. You know, here in the city there are several others. I mean, especially、uh, the ones from the ten rand. I'll give you ten rand. If you tell me about Mashweshwe,、okay, okay. let's just come here. Please, man. Now look, the, I was at the、please. monument,、uh, and they told me that Mashweshwe drove off the hill. Mashweshwe was looking at his cattle. I said, "Was it possibly foul play?" And they said, "No, no. He, he his driver drove off the road." What do you think? I'll come tomorrow. <laughs> I'll come, man. Come on, Matt. I'll be here tomorrow, man. Sure. <laughs> no, look, I have left you here, and I want to come and see how you are doing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Please, man. All right. I will be here.、Tomorrow. All right, Pierlo. I gave you ten rand. You'll come back.、No. Yeah, sure. I'm telling you. Can you come to the lady here? Yes. What time will you come back? I can't believe.
Lily Pielo didn't come back. Just like the director in her dentist appointment. Anthropological note, maybe Basutu don't come back. I'm going to have to spend the long weekend in Maseru, waiting for the church office to reopen Monday. The driver must have uh, clear of the sun in the morning. Yes. Driving up there, because he's facing Italy. Yes. Therefore, he missed him. I heard from a taxi driver. What did he say? <laughs> he said Mishweshwe was already dead when he oh, went off. Is that so? Yes. No, I don't think so. no you were found in the car dead. Yes. So this taxi driver you're talking about? I don't think so. Today I skipped a perfectly flat rock that I brought from California. It was awesome. Matt, I went to Critical Mass tonight because I thought it would be fun. I saw Erica and Brooke. Erica is moving out of that great apartment. I didn't realize it would be such a slow ride. It was so slow that you'd talk to people riding near you. It was fun until the end when a man asked me out. I'm going, Amy. I think I caught something on one of the minivans. Or maybe from brushing my teeth with tap water. I carry bottled water to rinse my brush, but rinsing it under the tap is too deeply ingrained, and I do it every time. <sighs> After waiting the whole miserable weekend, the Christian Health Association refused me permission to talk to anyone at the hospital. And I was so annoyed as I left that I resolved to tear that damn post-it note off the groin of the poster. It's not a post-it. Why? And so I'm going back to Tabaseka. And by that I mean getting on the Tabaseka van that actually goes to Monsignano. <laughs> that's okay. I have friends there. Thank you. To stay in the village, I needed permission from the chieftainess, but she said yes, because I had a friend to vouch for me. No, I want to learn your, tell your Sutu name. My, tell My name is David. Often when I ask people their names, they say David or Francina or Lawrence, because these are names they've been assigned in mission schools. 
At the Mandela Museum, I heard the story of his first day at school when his name was changed from Holly Hla to Nelson because it would be easier for his white teacher to remember. So I'm trying to learn people's real names. And I'm failing. But I will need to write them down and practice them. <laughs> <laughs> I boasted that I wouldn't need extra blankets because my sleeping bag was so awesome. I needed them. Lesotho is freaking cold. We slept on sheepskin, but I was really feeling the cement floor. Kauda. Kauda, yeah. Oh, yes? It's uh, meeting by Kauda. So, um, you built the walls out of rock. Yes. Then you smear by Kauda. And swear. And swear. With hand. Oh, you smear it by hand? Because yes. it's so like smooth. This. Yes, like this. Like that. You see, like there is something like pattern C. You see? Yes. yes. Ah, yes. You see. But it, it's very smooth. Yes. And then you do the walls as well. Yes. But it, it cracks. Does it? Yes, it cracks. Will you have to smear it again? After one year. Oh, yes? Yes. Ah. And it smells when you first do it. No. It smells good. It does. <laughs> If you enter in the house, you told here yeah, it smells good. Uh, yes, now, now it does. But you said that at first. Before, yes. I will say, does it uh, smell. smell good or that? Yes. Actually, it smells. It it smells bad because you may hear the cow that smell. So I hear the cow that smells bad. But not at all. Smells <laughs> bad. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, like. laughs> Do you think it's small? Yeah, it's small. Yes. It's not as small as... Look at Togo. Togo's pretty small. We bury the peoples. There. We bury them. We bury the peoples when they died. Yeah. Yeah. Bury them Your mother and father? Yeah, they are there. Yes? Yeah. We bury them there. It was affected many people. Then they they wrote that level. AIDS. That's all it says is AIDS? AIDS is too much here. It only says AIDS? Yes. That is the whole entire message? AIDS affected many people here. Yes. So, they wrote that label called AIDS. And the message says? The, mes the message said AIDS. AIDS? A. It is, it, AIDS affected many people in Mansonyana. Ah, that's what, that's what the message says. AIDS affected many people in Mansonyana. They wrote Mwana. What does that mean? It means AIDS. Right I here. was, uh, yeah, it's my mother. And this is you? It's me. <laughs> when I was small. 
<laughs> this is her? Yeah. Uh, she's very pretty. Pretty? Yeah. My mother and my my father. Oh, really? Uh. <laughs> no, I, I don't think she will cook for me. You are No, yeah, I don't. will. Uh, I will. Why? We will look after your children. No, she looks after them. You want your wife to look after you? She will uh, wash my clothes. <laughs> you should, you, you should yes, she will have, cook he, for me. Do you have a right to say no? No. She's my wife. Yes, but she has the right to say no. I can't. I, I will say that if you can't go to your family. I am not your this wife. If you are. I'm, <laughs> I'm, because she will see that I am not your wife. I have the right to say yes or no. I go to the chief and tell uh, her. Uh, that to my wife refuses when I say you must do the way. The chief will ask you the question. What kind of question? You see, don't you have your hands? <laughs> I have the. So. I go to get a job. And, and she I will too. ask her. And she Am too. I supposed to look after the children? And she too. Yes, I will sit down. You will sit down? <laughs> you say go and get the show. You cook for him. Yes, I stay at home. Look after the children. Yes, yes, it will be cooking. Good. Yeah. Washing. Yes. <laughs> hey, cleaning yes. the house. Yes. <laughs> will you use this word to do that? Or will you? I leave? will marry another wife. You will marry another wife. Yes, there will be two. Do you know that is a sin? To marry another wife. Two wives. Yeah. It's okay to marry. Ah, it's not good. It is good to marry. Two ah, wives. it's not good. Yes, in the city. Yes, we marry two wives. Yeah. Oh, two wives. <laughs> Are there people in the village who have two wives? Yes. 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 Two wives. <laughs> ah. <laughs> two wives. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yes. But it's not good. I like it. But it's eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All you like to marry yes. I like that idea. Uh, is it C? Uh, I'm not a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I am Basutu. Yes. <laughs> Me, I like that. <laughs> I like that. I will marry one. Do you know this woman? This woman. Her Majesty the Queen Mara Mamoharo Berenseiso. This is the mother of Let's see the third. Yes. Uh -huh. This one her is Majesty King Lizzie the Third. This is the man who killed Mashwashwe the second? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You're not into the conspiracy theory. Her Go wife. On. His wife. Yes. The queen. The queen. His Her Majesty Queen must not Mahato say so. She's very pretty. Mm. Pretty. Yes. Yes. More than her husband. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. Yes. But that's the good thing about being king is that you get a more attractive wife. Oh. Yes. And if you are not a king, you can. Yeah, in the suit. <laughs> I can have more wives. No, no. Yes. I, I can. no, a more attractive wife, not more wife. Despite my personal predilections, I think I need to say something to Nkomo about the incompatibility of polygamy and a high incidence of HIV. I really don't want anything to happen to my new friends. They are incredibly decent. I've learned that Lebohung also lives with his grandmother, although I haven't yet asked him what happened to his parents. Wait. 
and also as hey, yes, I'm going to pronounce it. Yeah. 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 It also is a Uziza. Uziza. They will marry. No, they can't be cheeky. I'm saying this. Not for long. <laughs> In a few years. Yes. He can't marry. <laughs> Nikomo in particular is a natural diplomat. He seems to know everyone in the village and is always facilitating for me. I don't know how one becomes chief, but assuming it isn't hereditary, he seems like a natural. It is, of course, probably hereditary. I wonder what will happen to him. I'm going to build a house down there with that box. Where that rectangle is? Yes, foundation. This will be your house? It will be my house. What's wrong with this house? No, I want another house. What are the advantages of a new house? Will it be warmer? It will be my, my house. You will stay in Monsignana? Yes, but if he, I get a job, I will go and leave it with my family. Oh, you will take your family? Yes. Yeah. What kind of job can you get in Monsignana? No job. Yeah, no job. <coughs> there is no job. Does it true? Uh, His movies. Does it true? Is it true? It is true. No, no, it, it is, is not. No. It is not true. But they, they, they said it is true. Who said it is true? <laughs> like like you, know, you are taking the photos. You yeah. see, you are taking the, the films. Yes. Now, this they, is... they, they, they took them like that no. when they were they are fighting. No. It is not true. Beat. It is not. It is. It it is not true. No. This is. This is true. It is true. Yeah, but <laughs> it's now it's true. Yes. It's not true. First Blood, Rambo, Schwarzenegger, not true. All of it. All of it. <laughs> hey, if someone punched <laughs> someone with a <laughs> Yes. You see the blood here. Yes. Uh, do they bleed? No. It's all fake. Is it fake? Yes. How do they use it? <laughs> okay, swing at me. Huh? Move your hand slowly. Oh, I right? see. Oh, oh I see. Yes. And at the same time, maybe I put blood in my mouth huh? and I go. <laughs> yes? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> they cheat out. Uh, they're cheating. Yeah. <laughs> On an impulse, I went back to the hospital on my last day in Monsignana and asked a nurse if she'd speak to me. She said, of course. I mean, but it's good, in fact, that people are coming. But unfortunately, they're brought so late. Some people are brought and died within a couple of days. We had a really interesting conversation, but it occurred to me as we spoke that this was how we always hear about Africa, from non-Africans. And what influence must that have over how we see it? And surely I thought it might be interesting to hear from someone else. <laughs> He's dangerous. He's dangerous. <laughs> because we only pay attention to the rest of the world when crises occur, we're left with a false impression that it's really dangerous. Everywhere I go, I find the opposite is true. That the world in this age, for travelers, is shockingly safe. Maybe Marco Polo and Lewis and Clark and that bunch were encircled by danger, but among the greatest perils remaining is that the ATM may not recognize our cards. 
Now, to be fair, there are some people for whom the world isn't safe. It isn't safe to actually be an African without sufficient health care, opportunity, etc. It isn't safe for people for whom travel is a euphemism for clubbing. It isn't safe for travelers who flout their wealth in the midst of crippling poverty. It isn't safe for big wave surfers. It isn't safe for yachtsmen who distribute Bibles in Islamic countries. It isn't safe for sexual tourists or drug traffickers or military tourists. But we're drawing the wrong conclusion. It isn't that the world is dangerous. It's that being stupid is dangerous everywhere. If you're just a curious, often naive, but not dangerously stupid person, the world is incredibly welcoming and generous, meeting your curiosity with an equal but opposite curiosity. And I almost missed it. I almost allowed the purveyors of fear, whom I'll hereafter collectively refer to as Leonardo DiCaprio, to fatten me with their anxiety and cultural isolationism. And I was becoming the sort of person who saw menace in shadowy figures and conspiracy in road accidents and who completely misread benign emails from the same overly dramatic, self-abusive, alarmist impulse. And so it begs the question, whose is the gullible culture believing all the shit they sell you on television and in movies? What about the wrist It's true. Okay. Yeah. Ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But, but it, <laughs> <laughs>